I'm going to finish off calf muscle here. Just copy and paste another copy of the sphere. R for rotate. I'm going to move them into place. I'm going to scale them up a little bit. Now the the front and front um, excuse me the front and side views here uh, because there's some orientation here. There's a little discrepancy in you know just a little bit um, about where and how big the uh, the calf muscle anterior head is. I believe it's called. So I'm going to do my best just to kind of float that in there for now, uh, knowing fully that it is the head of, this is the head of the calf muscle that that's much more pronounced. So I just want to get something in there that works for now. And again, it, the calf muscles, they, you know, they, they are very sort of um, uh, oddly shaped, you know, you know, but they have, this guy is really pronounced, you know, he's a runner, <laughs> you know, he's got really pronounced calf muscles. So now we've got most of the masses here really uh, roughed out. I'm going to go back to that hand, because this is one of those areas where I am going to use a metanerbed uh, box to kind of def define a plane, or excuse me, a um, just sort of a flat shape there. You can still use a sphere. Again, I, uh, I'll bring this up. I spend a lot of time working, probably too much time sometimes, <laughs> working on the animatic level of the character. It really allows you just mentally to sort of figure out where your problem areas are. It, you know, if you've never done this before, you know, you can get a real feel for, you know, this this area of the character is a little more complicated than I thought it would be. Um, I'm just selecting fingertips here uh, to kind of taper them a little bit. I'm going to change my mouse center, taper them up. That's all for now. See, so it gives them kind of a finger look. Uh, Going through this at this level is, you know, I can't stress it enough. It allows you to kind of, kind of, <laughs> for lack of a better term, to meditate on the, you know, the, the problems that you're going to have with your character or the issues that, that are going to come up, you know, the, the practical, technical, and, you know, any other number of issues that'll, that'll come up when you're, when you're creating this character. Now, the, this thumb from the side view, you can see, if I hide that for a second, it's got it's got a bend to the thumb, and this is the kind of thing I was talking about. That's one of the things you're probably going to want to correct out of the concept art, um, just to to give that thumb a little more relaxed. Uh, really position. at a rough view for right now, and you know we can tell from the top view that, uh, or, or excuse me, from the lack of having a top view that we just don't have uh, what it is we're going to need uh, for you know blocking out this foot. You know, in terms of, you know, how big is it? You have that front view, and you know, that kind of gives you information about, you know, how wide is the foot at one point, but how how much it tapers, how, how thick is the heel. That's that stuff for, for this point, or for this point in the uh, project, we're going to make up on our own. So I'm just going to select the bottom, the sole of the foot, basically, and kind of kind of guess where, you know, that you know the the front of the foot is a little wider. It's really roughly pushing this guy out. I want to taper the ankle in a little bit.